Welcome, people of Planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and my family and I make our living by buying and selling things that we find at thrift stores, flea markets, and even across the country in places like Las Vegas. And that's sort of what this uh, video is about. I did take a trip to Las Vegas to buy out uh, some remnants of an old Western store, and I'm going to show you some of the coolest things I found uh, while we were there. So, unfortunately, I'm really bad at making the sort of, you know, thrift trip type videos. I get too distracted by what's in front of me. Eventually, I promise I'll get that figured out. But until then, let's go ahead and dive in and see what we found in Las Vegas. So of course this is not everything that I bought in Las Vegas, I bought lots and lots of stuff. In fact you can see over here there's like a whole stack of uh, vintage Stetson and Bailey hats. I bought a handful of those, uh, bought lots of Levi's, lots of Wrangler. But these are the top five sort of coolest, most interesting things that I found. Uh, so starting us off at number five we have this uh, vintage orange tab Levi's western shirt. It's got sort of a heavier denim, it's beautiful, super clean. It's got the orange tab there, it got the these sort of like angled pockets, big ol' collar, beautiful all around. These do do pretty well. It's a size small, unfortunately, I think we have a couple other ones. Uh, we actually bought several of these, uh, very similar to these. Nothing, I think, maybe only one that had sort of a repeat pattern, a repeat design. Uh, multiple ones from throughout the 70s, and that's what most of the stuff that we found uh, was from, like 70s and early 80s. Uh, so here Levi's tag on the inside this thing is beautiful should do really well uh, one of the cooler pieces that we found uh, while we were while I was in Las Vegas then we have a really wild piece here at number four um, this perhaps is the coolest Western shirt I have ever seen in my life it is dead stock it has uh, the, the collar uh, guard there still it's got flowers it's got all kinds of flowers beautiful like uh, purple uh, pearl snaps it's from Tim Tex the brand is Tim Tex Tex and beautiful back on uh, back on here we have the yoga goes all the way around comes all the way through here beautiful uh, on the collar as well I mean this puts uh, some of those what's the uh, uh, Robert Graham shirts to shame uh, this is a serious serious Western shirt I never really heard of the brand prior to this uh, this trip, but uh, they have some pretty incredible pieces like that. Uh, it's not uncommon to find other things as cool as that. Though, uh, when I looked at all of my research, still one of the coolest designs is right there. Next up, we have a pair of denim jeans. This is a pair of Big Bells, 684 Big Bells. What's cool about this one is that it's in fact Big E. It's a Big E Big Bell. The print is on the pocket bag, so we know it's a bit older. This one is from 1973. So this is a pair of 1973 Big E Big Bells. Uh, these are like some of the widest bells that you'll find in the Levi's lineup. Uh, these are sell typically sell much better than the 646s um, as they don't have as a narrow of a thigh. Uh, so more people can get into them uh, in modern day. So beautiful pair of Big Bells here. They're in fantastic condition. Uh, I wouldn't call them brand new or anything, uh, but they have very little wear. Lots of deep blues still left in them. Uh, super, probably the probably the single best pair of le uh, denim that we found um, on this trip. Um, it, they do they do pretty well. Um, the, again, like I said, the big bells do tend to do better, so that's why they probably are number one. We did pick up some other stuff like 501s and such. Uh, but nothing crazier more than like 1982 and they weren't even selling. Then at number two we have this. Uh, no, it's not just a Wrangler slim fit boot cut. But have you ever seen a slim fit boot cut from Wrangler that is also a Levi's jean? No, you are not seeing things. <laughs> this is an incredibly well done. Incredibly well done. <laughs> It just, it, it shocked me the first time I saw it. Somebody took a half of a Wrangler and combined it with a half of a Levi's pair of 517s. So they're, it's a pair of bootcut denim jeans 
They are, I guess you would call them dead stock, but they have matched them so well. It's a fascinating look at how these two jeans, uh, the differences in how they were made, and uh, sort of like straight from the from the factory how they compare. You can see that there, the you can definitely see the broken twill of the Wrangler jeans as opposed to the right hand twill of the Levi's jeans here. Super interesting. One of the most interesting pairs. In fact, we actually got two pairs. This is the only one that actually has their tags. But uh, needless to say, these are kind of, something like this is hard to find, especially in like such so well done. Like whoever actually did the construction on this was a really really good at their job. Like you can hardly tell that these are um, have been altered. They appear like they must have come straight from the factory and it's some sort of weird promotional thing between the two but it's not i do believe it is a third party but still one of the coolest pairs of jeans i've ever seen now before we get to number one i do want to remind you that we have a live stream on mondays at 7 p.m we'll be opening up some rag bags hanging out hopefully maybe even giving some away so if you want to hang out with the crew um, ask some questions uh you know about vintage hang out talk about vintage uh, come check us out on this channel at 7 p.m. on Mondays. Now at number one, we have a t-shirt. And this one kind of caught me off guard uh, when I found it in the lot of stuff that I bought. And it's this Levi Strauss all over print. Not all over print. It's like a mega print. But it's all over the front panel. Huge print. All over the West, they wear Levi Strauss and Co. jeans. Um, it appears that this is probably from the 70s, uh, based on the tag. Um, the back is hitless doesn't have anything on the back uh, but what's so fascinating about this t-shirt to me is that it's a hundred percent polyester t-shirt which is something you more associate with like sheen or like random amazon like uh, uh white label t-shirts but this is a hundred percent polyester shirt it turns out it looks like this is a legit product uh that there were other ones that came out of the 70s and maybe even the early 80s uh, they, some of them are quite quite rare this one is quite rare um, I could not find any exact comps of this exact shirt, uh, though there are some like it. The 100% polyester element of this really threw me off. It does have all the tags. Let's see, where did the tag go? Yeah, it has a white tab right there. But the polyester element threw me off because it seems just so strange and probably, as far as my experience goes, probably one of the oldest 100% polyester t-shirts that I've ever even seen in history. So, um, really unusual to me. Uh, I Maybe it's not that strange, uh, but uh, this definitely was one of my favorite pieces that we found. Uh, that's why it is number one here on this list. Uh, we'll see how it does. Uh, I'm not sure, it might stick in my collection for a little bit, because uh, it's a pretty dope t-shirt in size XL. Uh, but still, number one for sure. Anyways, thank you guys so much. If you want to see like the 100% all, the whole haul, uh, I do that in a live stream uh, that is members only on Thursdays at 4 p.m. Uh, if you become a member, you can go watch the backlog of all that and see everything that I buy every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys later. Peace.